Bob, I, we've been having some good debates here and just in and around as people have been watching the preseason and obviously just the first game for the Toronto Maple Leafs, a 5-3 win over Ottawa. And in particular, you know, just about Tyson Berry. Some people are like, ooh, I'm not quite sure about the defensive side. And I'm kind of like, to be honest with you, I always knew that was going to be a bit of a weakness. There's a reason why Darren Dreger calls him a dwinger, and I thought he was great in that first game. Um, but, of course, it starts to draw... Uh, a lot of comparisons. I should, well, not really comparisons, but the question there is: uh, Is this an upgrade on Jake Gardner or an equal swap? Um, you know, offensively, it's it's an upgrade. Mm-hmm. He's gonna, you know, and Jake's a good offensive defenseman. Let's not kid anybody. Whatever he's had fifty point seasons mm-hmm. or close to it. Um, but I think in terms of all-out offense, the, 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 the spinorama sort of take your breath away, riverboat gambler, you're going to go for it. Um, Tyson Berry is, is, is more obvious, I think, in trying to generate that offense and probably more aggressive in trying to dominate it. I think for all the points Jake got, you know, a lot of them are outlet passes and coming up the ice and, and dishing it to somebody else, whereas the points that Barry gets, he's, he's, he's as, as Dregs would say, he's playing Dwinger out there. So, um, But, you know, so I think the Leafs feel like and hope that it's going to be an upgrade, that it's going to give them more of a dynamic element, uh, and especially paired with a guy like Riley, uh, sorry, uh, paired with a guy like Muzzin, who can take care of business in the defensive end, and then it's going to give them that much more of a dimension on that pair. And obviously, you you know, then the challenge becomes: Can CC give Morgan Riley enough freedom to go and do the the offensive things that Morgan Riley's capable of doing too? And then going on, Cody CC, are you? Ch- I mean. It- not the best way to start with your new team, obviously, with him being on the ice um, and not being able to outmuscle Kachuk, and they scored 25 seconds in. Do you just chalk that up to first team jitters, first night jitters, going against your former team jitters? Well, no, I, I think that's just a game of hockey. You know, sometimes guys get positioned on you in front of the net. It won't be. It was the first time this season. It won't be the last time this season that Cody CC takes a minus and 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 maybe is is victimized on a goal. That's the nature of the beast. I mean, you can say that about every defenseman on the Leafs mm-hmm. or every team, for that matter. But it's obviously highlighted more because CC's more in the spotlight. So what I would say is this. Is Cody CC an NHL defenseman? As Mike Babcock would say, all day long, he is. How high up in the line should he be playing? Was he playing too high in the lineup and getting too many minutes in Ottawa where they didn't have great depth after Carlson and others departed? I would probably say the answer is yes. Is he potentially in a position playing, you know, top pair situation with Morgan Riley, where at times um, when he makes mistakes, that he'll be highlighted more than somebody if they were a third pair guy. Absolutely. I think that'll be the case. Um, But as I said, he's an NHL defenseman. And ultimately let's not forget one of the reasons the Leafs made the deal that they did for Cody CC. And as, as much as they, as much as they may have wanted CC, they only wanted him for one year and they wanted to lose the Zaitsev contract. So, you know, whatever, Whatever shortcomings at times CC may exhibit, from the Leaf perspective, big picture, they were able to get rid of a contract that they thought was going to be really problematic for them, especially given what they knew they had to do with Matthews, Marner, Nylander, Tavares, and all these other guys. So, you know, that's you you accept whatever comes your way with CC, um, it, it, secure in the knowledge that long term this is a real benefit to the Toronto Maple Leafs because they got rid of the Zaitsev contract.